I was in California and I was working with investors uh, doing flips and I decided my daughter went off to school I was having like that emptiness syndrome and I want to be closer to her plus I needed to create wealth I needed I was tired of living paycheck to paycheck um, when I was working for a retail place I remember I didn't even have money after I paid all my bills I had $25 left so it wasn't getting me anywhere um, doing flips same thing you got paid a big check and then you had to wait for the next one so I wanted to have residual income coming in so when my daughter went off to school I decided that I was going to move to Jackson Mississippi I sold the stuff that I had and I just took a leap of faith bought a 24 foot enclosed trailer and headed to Mississippi I had contact an investor that had a property for sale and I was supposed to just come to Jackson and she was going to own or finance it for me I just had to sign on the dotted line and that was it so I'm talking to her the whole time coming here and about an hour before getting to Jackson she stopped returning my calls my texts everything she disappeared so now I'm in a town that I don't know anybody and I go and I get a nice hotel and I next day nothing again she doesn't respond to me so I start making other contacts and it was great I met some really great investors that I just told them my story what my goals were my goal was I wanted to buy 60 houses in the next four years and they were willing to help me one of the investors said well that's okay that you know you didn't really want to be in that side of town you wanted to be you should be here and I'm, I'm buying this house but it's going through probate it's just going to take a little bit for you to get there so I uh, every week it was a nice hotel then it went to a nice motel then it just started going down to like very nice motels at all I mean the last one the carpet was just so gross it was nasty but I had to do what I had to do and during that time I the investor that I was buying the property from said Vicki you know I know uh, you're on a budget and I have a vacation home and this week is not rented you can go stay there for this week but the next week you just have to you know go back to the motel so I stayed there that week and I don't know why it was a two-story house why did I go upstairs I didn't even know what I went up there for but it had carpet on the stairs and when I started coming down the stairs I slipped and I literally bounced the whole way down and I broke my tailbone so now I have a broken behind low on money no place to live broken behind it was just it was just going down but I stayed focused um, my mom kept saying you know why don't you just come back and I'm like nope I'm staying I'm, I'm going through you know I took a leap of faith I'm focused I'm just gonna do it so eventually I was able to get into my house and oh and that was around a Christmas time so I couldn't even go see my daughter because she was working retail so she worked on Christmas Eve and I had a broken butt so I couldn't make that drive it was like three hours and the whole donut thing sitting on that donut it just did not work out so I stayed in that you know I I was able to move in right before New Year's and the house was a 1950 house it had it had issues it needed completely cosmetic upgrade that thank God the electrical was good the plumbing was good the basics were good but everything else needed completely redone so I learned on from YouTube and Pinterest how to do stuff the great thing was that I had inherited tools from um i had inherited tools from my dad so i had all these tools now i didn't know what those tools were for and i've always from little i've always had like this fascination for tools but i don't know what they were for but i i had them so as i was looking at the videos on what to do for the house they would start showing like the tools they had and i'm like i got that tool so it was like perfect because I had the tools that I needed but now mind you I'm in this house I have no money and I need money to buy materials I need money to live 
So the stuff that I really wanted and I kept in the trailer, I brought on the trailer because I really wanted to keep, I started selling on eBay. I just figured, you know what, one day I'm going to make it and then I can just buy that stuff back. So I sold, um, eBay was paying for my food, electricity, a house payment, and materials. During the day, I was doing all day long eBay. At night, I would work on the house. And then like around midnight, I started watching another video for my next thing to do on the house. So I did this continuously. Um, after that house, I was able to get that one rented. I went on to another one. It wasn't until a few more houses that I was able to get somebody to help me. But the very first one, 95% of the house I did myself. And I learned how to do it. So that was kind of fun because now I know when people are saying something, I'm like, oh yeah, I know how to do that. I did it. So I think I had to go through it so then I know what people were talking about. But if you just stay focused and do your goals. Goals are really, really important. That house, there was only, I had a roof leak that I did not do. And I tried and it wasn't because I didn't go on Pinterest and YouTube to learn. I had it all planned out. I had the materials, but I'm afraid of heights. So when I tried to go up there on the ladder, uh, it was a catastrophe. I just did not do good. So um, I got somebody to help me that. And then when my heater went out, I got somebody to come in and fix that. The rest, I was able to do it. It took time. And I guess I'm saying this because you can do whatever you set your mind to. Do your goals. Um, do your goals and come up with an action plan to do it and just do it. Just do it. Time's going to pass by, so get started and do what it is that you want to do. Go ahead and follow me and uh, anything, any feedback that you want to give me, just go ahead and put it down below. Thanks.